maybe oh. me and another one of the Saturdays have, have uh, cooked up a little plan today. Oh, no. It's all fine. Scott, what are you doing to me? It's all fine. Me? But do, do you recognise this person? Hi, Mo. It's your <laughs> only friend, Frankie. It's uh, Frankie there. Frankie Bridge. It's my only friend, yeah. Your only friend. Now, I've got, um, I've got three stories here. And oh, I'd like you God. to kind of elaborate. Maybe mm. I've been, maybe uh, yesterday me and Frankie were cooking up a little bit of a plan. Oh, no. It's nothing embarrassing. You just need to tell me the story around uh, the headline. Okay? <laughs> Are you ready? No. Okay. Right. Just tell me about this. Molly, why don't you tell them about that time when you always used to set your alarm at 2 a.m.? <laughs> oh, this is a stitch up. Oh, I, I hate you, Frankie. Yeah. Okay. So the truth about setting my alarm at 2 a.m., I actually have to drag Rochelle into this as well. Okay. Um, taking you down with me, girl. Um, so we, we did this thing where I think we were newly dating some guys. That's right. And um, This we, is what I've been told. <laughs> we wanted to look cool and sort of keep them on their toes, you know, playing hard to get, making it look like, oh, we're out and about, single ladies, like, come chase us, boys. Yeah. So one time... Just one time. Oh, I heard it was multiple times. Oh, don't believe anything she says. Okay. Um, we set our alarms at two o'clock in the morning, <laughs> went into the bathroom, blared our TVs as loud as possible so it sounded like there was music pumping. Oh, my God. And we called up our sort of new boyfriends when we were like, hey, babe, oh, I can't hear you through the thumping music. We're just out at the club. So You good. know, it's so rocking and rolling in here. When I it, hope I didn't say that. In but. reality, you were in bed by <laughs> 10. <laughs> in reality, in bed at 10, tucked up, yeah, made the quick phone call and That's then so straight back into bed. So you set your alarm uh, so the boyfriend would think you're a bit wild. Exactly. Desperate <laughs> times, Scott. Desperate That's so times. good. I can't believe you set an alarm for it. It's like, <laughs> right, pump some music out, make it sound like we're having a party. <laughs> exactly. It's even worse because you've gone to bed that early that you've had to set an alarm <laughs> to do all this. Yeah. That's a great story. Oh, I hate you, Frankie. Thanks mm. for bringing that up. Well, see, I'll I, never get away with that now. I've spoken to you so many times over the years, but I thought, who can I get different stories out of? I'll go to one of the girls. <laughs> Ready for another one? No. Okay, here we go. Molly, why don't you tell everyone your amazing chat-up lines from LA? <sighs> My amazing chat-up lines? I mean, if you can't remember it, I'll refresh your memory. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. This is so awful. This is clearly why I am not in a relationship right now. Go oh. on, Scott, tell me. Do you remember? No. So, you were in America and you were um, at lunch with the girls in LA. Mm. Now, you were single at the time. Mm. And Vanessa and Frankie are like, you should talk to more boys. We're in America. This, You know, you could get yourself a new boyfriend. <laughs> you were like, nah, I'm not bothered. But then... Just across the way in the restaurant, there were some guys who kept looking over. Do you remember mm, this? I do, I do. And and Vanessa and Frankie were like, Molly, just turn around and talk to them. Look, they keep looking over. They're you know they're quite hot. Go and talk to them. Eventually, you turn around and do you remember what you said? I think I said something about tomatoes and onions. Aren't the tomatoes and the salad amazing? <laughs> <laughs> It's surprising that I didn't get taken out on a date, isn't it? I mean, with those chat-up lines, God. The, the conversation quickly dried up. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got one more and then, oh. and, then, and then it's all over, OK? Oh, great. OK, here we go. This is a good one. Molly, tell them about what we did at that pool party in Ibiza. <laughs> But you God. girls have had a great time, haven't you? Wow. Oh, my God. Okay. Right, this story of Frankie and I at a pool party sounds a lot more wild than it was. I know. Unfortunately. So Frankie and I went on holiday together, and she actually didn't tell me that we were going to be staying at Ushuaia, like the ravenest hotel but ever. I think it was quite new then, and she just looked online and was like, oh, it's quite a nice hotel. Well, that's what she says. I'm sure she knew. But... We were staying there, and every single night there was a full on rave, right? Pool party, right? Pool party, yes. So, Frankie and I, we were just like, oh, we just don't want this every single night, but we thought we're going to have to at least live up one night. So, we were like, okay, right, we're going to go out there, put on our best outfits, went outside, stood by the pool, loads of people obviously around us raving and all this, went outside, took loads of photos and uploaded them like, woohoo, wild Ibiza nights. Yeah. And all our friends were like, you're so not living it up. Up. This no. is the lamest party ever. You yeah. guys look way too sober. So we couldn't even fool our friends. So, so yeah, I heard the stories. You went to dinner somewhere. You came back and there's this massive 
pool party on and you're like, what is this? <laughs> and you weren't keen, so you get in the pool, look like you were joining in the party on Instagram, then back to bed. Yeah, oh, exactly. Word, you, you're like such that. a con artist. <laughs> I love it. Coming, coming across with this. Scott, you're there making was... me look so un-rock and roll right yeah, now. Yeah, no, that's, that's a refreshing change. Oh, God. I have had some wild nights, I know though. you have. I mean, I've stayed up till at least midnight. Yeah, God. Well, we can talk about those next time. <laughs> Imagine the thud of dance music outside your room while she's re- her and Frankie are reading a book. <laughs> We were like, can they please turn the music down? I'm just on chapter five. <laughs> so good. Right, it's so good to see you today. Um, Thank sorry you, about that you. slight um, um, interrogation, but know. you know, the stories were good. What will you say to Frankie when you next see her? I mean, I won't speak to her again, so. That's, an, that's awkward because she's on the line now. Say hi. You're joking. <laughs> I hate you. Oh my God. You know what? You should love me because they were the tame ones. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's it, babe. Make me look more wild. I, I called Frankie yesterday and I was like, are there any stories that we could say on the radio and she's like um I'll have a think <laughs> <laughs> thanks for doing that homework for me Frankie Bridge that's alright anything oh. for Molly oh, oh God. I hate you babe love you <laughs> <laughs>